A special place on the North Shore is helping young people in the LGBTQ community cope in the wake of the pandemic. Yeah, the sense of isolation takes a toll. And as WBZ's Michael Cross shows us this evening, the center offers resources and support. 15-year-old Shar Platt Miller feels right at home at Nagley in Salem. I feel like I can be my true self and like I can just be who I am here. It's one of the largest centers for LGBTQ young people in the country. I feel like community is my favorite part of Nagley. Shar's parents helped her connect with the North Shore Alliance of GLBTQ youth when she came out as a lesbian a few years ago. But like many places, it was physically closed during the pandemic. It was definitely hard on socialization for the most part and hard with like isolation because I did feel a lot more isolated just like sitting in my house on my computer. The COVID-19 pandemic took a toll on many young people, especially teens in the LGBTQ community. Our survey showed that 70% of LGBTQ young people said that their mental health was poor either most or all of the time during COVID-19. Amit Paley is the CEO of the Trevor Project, which is a suicide and crisis prevention organization for LGBTQ young people. Their recent survey found that 42% of LGBTQ young people considered attempting suicide, including more than half of transgender and non-binary youth. And more than 80% of LGBTQ youth say COVID-19 made their living situation more stressful. We need to be doing more to make sure that we are creating affirming spaces and a better world so that young people feel supported in their identities and their mental health. They can come and grab a dob kit off the shelf, fill it up with anything they don't have. Back at Nagley in Salem, teens struggling with homelessness can find clothes, toiletries, and support. It's getting better, but the challenges are still there, and that's why we still need to exist. That's why we still need to be here. Throughout the pandemic, Nagley has been connecting with teens virtually all over the country. Starting next month, they'll welcome teens back to their facility locally. And don't be afraid to ask for help as well. Shar tells me she's proud of her journey and has some advice for anyone struggling. You're not alone. Like, there's so many people in your position in this country and all over the world. And that is such an important thing, what she yes. said there. You are not alone. And giving teenagers especially a place where they can feel like they're part of a bigger community is very important. Right, and you can tell that that's the center's message to everyone who comes through the door and who connects with them online. And we want to let you know we do have a full list of resources for teenagers and their parents on our website, cbsboston.com.